Why is there no audio coming from my phone? Unless it's on speaker. Hello and welcome to iPhone Black and White Troubleshooting. This is the troubleshooting series that I am putting up where we kind of just try to dive in immediately to fix issues and problems that you might be having with your iOS devices. In this video, we are going to look at how to fix the problem if you are encountering where you've got your phone, maybe even your iPad, but you've got basically your phone and the only time you can hear somebody is actually if it's on speaker. Sometimes it might work with your um, headset maybe, but what's not working is if you're just trying to use the phone normally. So you're in the situation where you have to constantly keep the phone on speakerphone and that is what we are going to try to fix right now. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is really address exactly what is happening so you understand what the problem actually is so that if the problem comes back, you're gonna be able to do these same exact steps. So if these steps work, hey great, it's gonna fix your issue. If they don't work, then it could mean that there is something that is more wrong with your phone than what we're hoping. Odds are, your phone is actually okay. Your, your device is probably just fine. And so the way to kind of understand what is occurring here, what causes this problem, very simply put, is that the audio signal is getting screwed up. That's all it is. It's the audio signal is getting screwed up. And it's getting screwed up most likely because you are using different devices that you're connecting to your phone through Bluetooth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up kind of resetting the phone. And this is kind of a neat thing to do. I'm gonna kind of show you uh, a way to cheat. You're gonna actually reset your phone without actually resetting your phone. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into our steps here. Now, all we're gonna do is we're gonna watch my little video here. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on settings on our phone and we're gonna go into Bluetooth. And what you need to do is you need to forget all the devices that are connected to your phone here. Now, one of my devices is my Apple Watch. So if I click on the little eye, that little blue eye to the right, it doesn't give me the option to um, forget the device. I have to go in through the watch app. So you might have some devices that are there, but I've got a headset listed here. So when I click on the eye for the headset, it gives me the option to forget this device. This is what you are going to need to do to all your Bluetooth devices, okay? You're gonna be able to reconnect them, so don't panic, but you're going to have to forget all your devices. Then you're gonna come back to the first settings screen, and what you're gonna do is you are gonna turn on airplane mode. You're gonna turn on airplane mode for about 15 to 20 seconds. Once you get done after the time, you know, 15, 20 seconds, that's all it takes. And all you're gonna do is make sure you turn airplane mode back off so that it is not in green. Then what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna hold down your power button and you're just going to slide to power off and you're gonna turn off your phone. You're, and all you need to do is turn off your phone for 60 seconds. So. Let me make sure that you understand exactly what you're doing when you do this. And it's actually pretty simple. First, you're going into your Bluetooth to make sure that you're telling your phone, do not send this audio signal to any other device. And guys, it doesn't matter what devices are listed there, okay? It doesn't matter. I don't care if it's your car and your car is in Timbuktu and you're in Athens, Georgia. It makes no difference. You've got to go in and actually remove and forget all the devices that are there, including like your Apple Watch, if you're using a watch, um, whatever the devices are. So forget all the devices, and then you're going to turn on airplane mode. 15 to 20 seconds, that's it. 15 to 20 seconds. And this is actually how you're resetting the phone without actually resetting it. Because what you're doing when you turn on airplane mode is you're telling the phone, 
hey, I want you to forget every connection that you've got. Any connection that you, you know, you're, where you're sending information to, I want you to like, boom, immediately stop it. So that's what airplane mode is doing. Then what you do is, uh, as I showed you, you're just going to turn off the phone. And you just need to turn it off so that it gives it an opportunity to kind of reset itself. Wait 60 seconds and then turn it back on. Okay, so in all my videos, I always like to try to get articles from Apple.com. So we're going to look at something right now because maybe the steps that we just did is actually not working. Maybe there's something else that you can try here. So let's take a look. Okay, so once again, this article is from support.apple.com and it is titled, if you hear no sound or distorted sound from your iPhone, iPad, or iPod touch speaker. So if the first steps that I gave you don't fix the issue, it might be something that's actually more simple and what's causing your problem. It could be something as simple as that you've got the ring silent switch turned on. So on the side of the phone, if you see this little switch up above, the volume up and the volume down buttons that you see right here. If this is in orange, then you need to make sure that you don't see the orange. So you just want to flip the switch so that you don't see any orange. Okay. So you don't want to see the orange showing. If you're using an iPad, you can also swipe down from the top right corner to view the control center and make sure that silent mode is off. Okay. So it just depends on what kind of device you're using. The second thing it says here is clean your receivers and speakers. I'm not going to go over all the things that you need to do to kind of clean, but I'll be honest with you guys, most likely this is not your problem. Uh, it's not a bad idea to kind of clean your speakers. Just make sure that you're using, um, uh, like it's saying here, a soft bristled brush. Do not use like a damp cloth for crying out loud, folks. Do not put any water onto your device. That is not how you clean your speakers. Please don't do that. You're gonna use a dry cloth, but read over this. Then the next thing that you can do is check the sound on your device. It's possible that maybe you've just got the ringer turned down low. Um, so what you're gonna do is go to your settings, go to sounds, um, and drag the ringer and alert slider back and forth a few times. If you don't hear any sound or if the speaker button on the ringer and alert slider is dimmed, then it could actually mean at that point that there actually is a problem with your phone and you would need to set up the phone for service. That's basically what it's saying here. So if nothing works, make sure that you check here first because maybe there actually is something wrong with your phone. But odds are your issue most likely is not going to be, the, uh, to be this. Alrighty guys, like I said, this troubleshooting series is going to be trying to go as quickly as possible. So we are already to the end of this video. I hope that these steps uh, will be able to kind of help you. I know that this has worked for a lot of people. So definitely give it a try and don't hesitate to put into the comments if this actually ended up helping you because it has helped a lot of people. With that being said, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this. If you found this helpful, hit like, hit subscribe. Come on back, learn how to become an iPhone expert. And don't forget to send this video to your friends and family so I can help them with all of their troubleshooting issues as well. Alrighty, guys, thanks so much, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.